Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Lavi Man Jafil's Day. So today I am here for class 3 English version students. So today our subject is elementary science. And we I have already shown the answers of chapter 1. Now we are going to show the answers of chapter 2 of the exercises. Living and non-living things. So let's start. So at the first of the exercise there is filling the blanks. So number A. Our environment consists of living things and non-living things. Number B. Living things need air, water and food to survive. Number C. Prawns and earthworms are invertebrate animals. Number D. People depend on plants and animals. So these are the filling the blanks. Now we will go to the next one. So students you can see the number 2 is multiple choice questions. A is which one is living being? Number A chili plant. Number B house. Number C rickshaw. Number D aeroplane. The so, students you can see the number A is the answer chili plant. Then number B. Which one can grow? A. Car B. Pigeon C. Chair D. Stone So students you can see the answer is B. Pigeon Then now we'll go to the next one. Which one is non-flowering plant? A. Mango B. Fawn C. Water Lily D. Paddy So the answer will be B. Fawn if you students read the book properly, then you can answer these questions. Now we'll go to the next one, question answers. So there students, these are the question answers. The number A is, write five examples of living things and non-living things. So the answer is, five examples of living things and non-living things are living things. Number one, man number two plants number three trees number four birds number five animals now non-living things number a chairs number two tables number three pencils number four books number five copies so this is the answer of the A question. Now we will go to the B question. So students, you can see the B question is How many groups of vertebrates are there? What are they? So answer, there are five groups of vertebrates. They are number one, fish. Number two, amphibia. Number three, reptile. Number four, bird. Number 5, Mammal. So this is the answer of the B. Now we will go to the C question. So the C question is, classify the plant into three groups based on the size and stem. Answer, on the basis of size and stem of plants can be classified into three groups such as number 1, herbs, number 2, Sharps. Number three, trees. So the number one herbs. A herb is smaller than a sharp and has soft stems. Their roots remain at the surface of the soil. Example, teddy, chili, etc. Then sharps. A sharp is a woody plant smaller than a tree. They have several branches rising from near the base of the stem. Example, rose, heresius, etc. Number three, tree. A plant which is large in size with a woody main stem and with branches and leaves is called a tree. Their roots enter deep into the soil. Example, mango and jackfruit. The student, this is the answer of C. Now we'll go to the D question. Number D. 
How do people depend on plants? Answer. We need to eat food. Food comes from plants. We also need clothes and shelter. Some clothes are made from plant parts. Wood is used to build houses and furniture. Like this, people depend on plants in the natural environment. So students, we have shown the D questions answers. Now we have the last question E. Write three differences between plants and animals. Answer. Three differences between plants and animals are given below. So dear students, you can see we have made a chart here. So in the exam, you have to do like this. So here plants. Number one, plants can make food. Animals. Animals cannot make food. Number two, plants cannot move. Here, animals can move. Number three, plants can not smell. Animals can smell. So, there are students, this is the answer of the last question, E. So, there are students, that's all for today. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, then don't forget to like, comment and share. And for new videos, subscribe our channel. That's all for today. Assalamu alaikum.